Good morning all. An update on my USB to serial converters. The chili pepper, which uses the CP2102, CP, chili pepper, get it? Is on its way. In fact, I've had the text from DHL, so that's literally going to turn up today, tomorrow, or very, very soon. The Chorizo, Chorizo, uh, which uses the CH340, the problem was they had no stock of the CH340G, uh, which was the basic part. Um, they've now got three in stock. Um, I did think about using the CH340N, which is a SOP8, an 8-pin chip, which would be really cool. But they've only got four in stock. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is redesign that with a CH340C, which is the same footprint of this. Uh, just without the crystal. In fact, I really don't need to redesign it, do I? I could just, because um, it's a pin compatible part, I could just plonk it straight on the board. Hmm, well, I'll have a, have a look at that and uh, maybe do some redesigning. But there's a gap there, so I need to uh, sort that out. Well, I think I can do these three parts of the jigsaw puzzle. So that's good, that'll do. And we'll work on that over time. In fact, that'd probably be better over there, wouldn't it? So here's the current stock situation with the CH340s. The G, there are three. Well, given that I'll make five boards, uh, that's not enough. The C has 1,419, so I think I will switch to a C. Now, I'll need to do that in the schematic anyway, because that will define, uh, well, maybe not directly, but um, I need to specify that that's the part I want fitted rather than the G. Uh, the CH340N, which is this SOP8, which I'd really like to use, uh, it's got RTS broken out, but not DTR, so it'd be interesting to try that. Uh, there are only four currently, so I might come back to that, but for the moment, let's switch to the CH340C. So here's my schematic, and you can see that I've got the CH340G there, so I'll change that to CH340C. I'm not quite sure what pins 7 and 8 will be called. Uh, given that it's got a built-in crystal, maybe they're just not connected. I might as well leave the footprint for the crystal and the capacitors there, but I'll specify that they're not to be fitted. Let's take a quick look at the data sheet for the CH340, G, C, N, and all the other variants. Here it is, and here are the variants. There's the CH340, C, uh, not connected for pin 7 and pin 8 is out so what's it sending out there this is all this is all in chinese i'd need to find an english one uh, ch340g of course has uh, crystal in and crystal out um, maybe that's an out from the internal crystal that's a possibility and there's the ch340n which is only uh, eight pins uh, rts is broken out here but not dtr but I believe you can reset an Arduino using RTS. Oh, well, that's interesting. On this data sheet, um, it's got the CH340C as having no connection on both pins 7 and 8. So let's assume that's how it's going to be. Uh, now, DTR is on the same pin, yet RTS is on the same pin. So it looks like everything is the same. V3 is the same. Everything else is the same. So it's a direct drop-in replacement. Uh, I just need to specify it, and then I can uh, get that board put into production. So in my schematic, I'm just going to delete the CH340G and go to the library and type in CH340. Uh, I need JLC PCB assembled. So that's fine. I want the CH340C. Let's place that. There's one. Cancel. And I'll shove it. Oh, it's a slightly different width, this one. That's interesting. OK, I'll have to slightly move everything around. But I'll shove it there. Excellent. I'll just uh, sort all these connections out. OK, that's all sorted and saved. Let's now go to the PCB and I'll import the changes into here. There's my PCB. 
Uh, I think I can go one size up. Yes, I can. And place it there. Right, let's import the changes. We should certainly see the CH340. Oh, that's a lot of changes. Let's apply that and see what we get. Uh, okay, U1 is down here. Well, I can drag that up into position. Uh, what is the position? That must be five, uh, 5 volts there. I think that looks about it. I oh, know, one down from there. I'll sort that out. Okay, so this is what it looks like with the ground planes uh, visible and enabled. Let's switch to the blue one. I've put a couple of ground wires in here to create this grounded island and on the top layer this grounded island. A little bit unnecessary but it's my favorite thing to do now. <laughs> so that's that. Now we need to think about, oh and I've temporarily muted the board outline because it's very difficult to select the copper areas. Uh, when they're the same position as the board outline. So let's turn the uh, copper areas back to invisible. That's my board. I've changed the name to Chorizo C. It did say version 1 but I'm going to have it as version C now to define which chip I've used. I might make another one with an N in due course. So let's go to building the bomb and start selecting parts for this board. Okay, I've got uh, my 100 ends, 0603s, they're 104s, so, uh, well, 100 N. They're done. The 22 picofarads, I'm not going to be specifying for assembly, so they don't matter. I've got a 10 microfarad here, case A, uh, 3.2 by 1.6 millimeters, so let's assign a part for that. And here we are in capacitors, so let's narrow this down, capacitors tantalum and see what we can find in here. Right, I can see here at the top of this list uh, 10 microfarad, 3.2, 1.6. It's a basic part, 10%, 16 volt. That all looks good. We'll assign that one. Now, for some odd reason, I've got my two resistors, 1K, which are the ones on the LEDs, this one, as 0805s, I'm not quite sure how that happened. I think I'll go back and change that in the schematic, update the PCB, and then pick some 0603s. So here they are, R1 and R2. I think I'm just going to delete them. And R2, delete. Right, let's go to the EE lib. Resistor 0603 US. So that should be the one I want. Uh, rotate that, shove it in that position. R1, 1K. R2, 1K. Save that and update the PCB. So that's done. I've got uh, 0603s for my two resistors here. Let's go back to the bomb. And I need to find a couple of 0603 resistors. I'll probably search for them by searching for 1001 because that gets it guarantees me 1% resistors and also narrows the field a little bit. So this is the result of my search. And here we go, uh, 0603 basic part 1K, 1%. That, I think, will do for those two resistors. So let's select that, or at least assign it uh, in my bomb. So I think that's everything now. I don't need the headers. Oh, I seem to have lost now my uh, 100 ends and <laughs> my 10 microfarads. Not sure where they went. Perhaps I didn't save it. Oh, I've lost my allocation for the red LED as well. I'll go through all that again off camera. So I think that's everything, 100 ends, don't need the 22 P's, 10 microfarads, don't need the headers, red, green LEDs, resistors 06031K, CH340C, don't need the USB connector. I've actually got those in, uh, I bought them on eBay. They're not quite right, but they're probably good enough. Don't need the 12 megahertz crystal. Export bomb.
that goes down, if you can see that, yeah, you probably can, uh, into my downloads folder. Okay, that's good. Um, well, while I'm at it, I guess I can export the uh, pick and place file. Don't think there's much you need to do with that. That just exports. Okay, that's ready to send off for production. So that's my version of the CH340 USB to serial converter, which I've called the Chorizo, uh, done and sent away for production. Next, I will take a look at my Pro Minty, which is a bit like a Pro Mini, but square form factor and either a Minty Green or an After 8 Black. But that's for the next video, so cheerio.